Hi, Sarah Banas here, Learn to Craft. I am going to show you today um, an important but very basic skill set for using Cricut Design Space, okay? So you'll see this often where people will tell you to clean up an image or um, this, is, this is how you do it. It's incredibly simple. So what cleaning up an image is, it's taking a design that you have that, um, for instance, I often make designs for um, one of my many Facebook groups, Cricut for Beginners. I'm going to link that in the video description. Um, if you're not in our group, make sure you join. It's a fantastic community. You'll love it. There you'll fit right in. Um, but I often give away designs that I've made. For instance, this is a design that I made that I gave away to the group. And instead of converting it to SVG, um, which is... Um, the, the, us, the, the usual um, file type for a cut for a cut file that's a scalable vector image and instead of converting it I'll often just post an image unprotected so with no watermark so that you know our group members can use the design with my consent and that's something to be aware of here oftentimes people will clean up images that they really don't have the rights to you know don't do that that Make sure that you have designers consent to use images, not just go around grabbing any images you see and using them. But in this case, these are designs that I make for the group to give away. Okay, so I'm going to show you, you see how you can see behind it, you can see the grid. So when I go to cut this, the machine is going to automatically know that everything around it, all of this where you see the grid, that's all a transparency, and it's going to know to only cut that, okay? Only cut the letters. So I'm going to show you, I can get rid of this. I'm going to show you what it looks like when you first grab that image that I've given the group. Oops. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now, do you see how now you cannot see behind this image? So if I were to try to cut that, let me show you what happens if I try to cut that. Okay, so I'm going to go to make it. The system, oops, see, it's, see, and it's already set to print then cut. But let's go back because it'll automatically upload as print then cut. And this is actually uh, an important skill set for you to know anyways. So I'm going to click on that. See how right here it says print then cut? So anytime you're uploading an image like this, it's going to automatically upload as print then cut if you have not cleaned up that background and then chosen for it to be a cut image, not a print then cut. But you, okay, so I'm going to change it from print then cut. I'm going to change it to basic cut and that's how you do that. So you see now how it just blacked everything out because it doesn't, the system doesn't recognize, it only recognizes that outside box. So even though you see this as white space, design space recognizes that as one solid image. So you have to show it how to get that cut, the cut lines. And that's what cleaning up is. You're showing it where to get those cut lines, okay? So now I'm going to show you how to clean up an image, okay? So we can get rid of that. And... Just real quick before we move forward, if this video is interesting to you or helpful, like the video, but also subscribe to my channel. When you're subscribed and you hit the bell, you'll get a notification when the new videos come out. Lots of ways, not just how to learn, you know, design space and, you know, different projects you can do, but also learning how to design for yourself. So lots of good um, videos coming up that you're not going to want to miss out on. Uh, so make sure you do subscribe. Okay, so let's move forward. I'll go to upload. You saw right here I clicked upload and then I'm going to go to upload image. I'm going to go to browse and I'm going to go to mine are saved in this folder and I'm going to type in this one I have saved under Mary 10 and I'm going to show you how I clean it up. Okay and this is going to be the same across the board. Um, if you're on iOS or if you're on Android or if you're on uh, Mac, if you're on PC, you, the cleanup process is pretty much the same across the board. So you can see that I've uploaded it. 
In this case, I could probably just use simple because it is just two colors. You're, the best you're, the best cleanup that you're going to get is always going to be a super dark image with just a white background with nothing else on it because that's the easiest thing for the system to differentiate between the two. Okay, I'm going to press complex, but I wouldn't really have to with this because it is such a simple, it, it, I could just do simple if I wanted to. I'm going to go to continue. Now, if you have, um, if you have, Access, Cricut Access, you have access to this, which is an automatic background remover, which is super nice. Uh, you can see, so you can see anytime you see that checkerboard behind it, that means that that has turned the background into a transparency. So that's it, one step and you're done, okay? If you do not have access, the way that you do it is you click right here where it says select, and this is just a manual eraser, okay? Click on any white space and it'll get all of the outside, but now what you need to do is you need to zoom in a little bit and you need to get the inside because if you did it right now, it wouldn't recognize that the insides of those letters also needed to be cut. So now watch what happens. See how it's white? When I click on it, it turns that into a transparency. So now it recognizes the inside of those letters also as something that needs to be cut out. I have to zoom in a little bit more on those R's. You see that I clicked right here to zoom in. And then get right inside of there. So that is having that automatic remover is super, super convenient. That was um, an update not too terribly long ago. And it's a really, really nice, really nice benefit to having, um, having access. So, but like I'm showing you here, you can also manually remove it. So, and that doesn't take too horribly long. Okay, I think I've got just about all of them. We'll zoom out and just take a look and make sure that I got them all. Yep, I think I did. Okay, so now you're going to click down here, Apply and Continue. And now, see, this is where I was telling you if you, if you click it as a cut image, um, or if you click it as print, then cut, if you click print, then cut, it's still going to upload it as a print, then cut. You're still going to have to use that drop down to switch over to cut. Choose cut, upload. Okay, and now click here, add to canvas. And there you go. So you can see there that you can and then just resize it to whatever size you want to cut. And now, now you can see that you can see that grid behind it. This is ready to cut. This now recognizes that. See, it's set right here to basic cut that now recognizes that as a, um, as a cut image. It shows, it shows the machine exactly where to cut and it'll cut it out beautifully for you. Um, I'm gonna link in the video description. I'm gonna link the post in the group where you can download this design for free if you'd like it. Um, make sure you join us in the group. You'll love it there. I'm also going to link the font itself. If you just want this font, it's a beautiful font. I'm going to link where you can get this font. So underneath the video, when you're looking at this video on YouTube, underneath the video, there's like a drop down. You can click that and um, it'll open up the information for the video. I'll link in there the group. Join us. I'll link the font and I'll add um, a, a link to the post in the group where you can download this design for free if you'd like it. This is just a design that I made. Um, then that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me either here in the video or in the group. You can always approach me there. Um, like the video, subscribe to my channel. That helps me out a lot. And that's about it. I hope you have a great day.